Hello beach bells, welcome back to the channel. Today is the first day that I've gotten out fishing in the surf since Hurricane Ida. So today's kind of like a exploration, checking things out, seeing what's going on. Good news is water clarity is not that bad. Surf has calmed down. So I'm excited about the opportunities, but I'm gonna throw some lures around, hopefully see if I can find some pretty cool fish today, but really just trying to figure out what's going on and where to go from here. The beach is completely rearranged. Everything is different, rips are different, sandbars are different, which is always kind of fun figuring that out again after a storm because it just completely rearranges everything. So we got our work cut out for us. Let's see if we can find some fish. This is the Halco Twisty. Gonna start dragging it around. I'm sure there are still plenty of ladyfish to go around. Yep, immediately. Got a lady, I think. Feels pretty heavy. Yeah, big ladyfish. Okay, spit it. Good, good. The good thing about a spoon, it is heavier, so it's a little easier for the ladyfish to spit it. Super slow. I've turned off my GoPro. I'm hooked up on something I don't know what it is. Not very big. Oh, Spanish. A tiny little Spanish. He's itty bitty. But that's cool. Good sign. We got we got some other life around here. Probably uh, maybe the smallest Spanish I've ever caught. Wow, that's tiny. It's putting me to sleep out here, how slow it is, aside from the ladyfish, which they have died down, which is good. A giant school of ladyfish, but I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here. Some of them are really big though. Oh, it's a bluefish. Hey, that's something different. I wasn't even excited because uh, I've been catching so many ladyfish. I was hoping there was something different in this school. Every other cast has been ladyfish, so I was just trying to get them to jump off, but got a little bluefish. That's cool. I have caught my fair share of ladyfish today, at least hooked my fair share. How many I've hooked and caught. It's, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna complain about catching fish, but ladyfish are definitely low on my target species list. Oh yeah, okay, okay. What the heck? All right. Don't jump, buddy. Don't jump. Just keep fighting me. Just keep fighting me. We hooked something. If it doesn't jump, I'm more encouraged as to what it could be. He sure is swimming fast. Oh, big blue fish. Fat one, man, he just jumped too. Holy cow. That's, that's a nice blue fish for us, man. Okay, okay. Woo. I'll take that. Especially a day like today. Okay, so that bluefish, I got him all the way up to my feet. He jumped off. My GoPro has been doing this thing where it like freezes up on me and deletes some of my footage. So you didn't see the, the conclusion of that, but I did not actually land that bluefish. I would not mind trying to hook another one that size. Got the blue crabs around. If you can see them running away from me. Probably female. They all come up here and lay their eggs. There's another one back here. Bunch still around after the storm. I'm surprised. I didn't know where they'd go. But yeah, they come in at the like end of every summer, early fall, in close, and they 
come up here and lay their eggs. They're all female. I've never caught a male scooping them up with a net. I've caught a lot of bluefish and usually I'm not that disappointed when one gets away from me, but and I know you East Coasters, you make fun of me all the time talking about big bluefish, but that was probably the oh biggest bluefish I've ever caught. We got oh dang it. We got another ladyfish. Man, there's so many ladyfish. Come on, spit it. Spit it. You can do it. There you go. There you go. So many ladies. Oh, oh, something caught up to it. Oh, I need to type my drag. I was reeling it fast just to get it in. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, I think it's a big blue. Oh no, holy crap. Oh my gosh, I think it's a big blue. I was reeling it fast just to get it in. Oh my gosh, it's jumping like crazy. I think it's a giant blue again. The, the, they might, oh my gosh, I'm kind of freaking out. I love bluefish, especially if you can get the bigger ones. I can't believe they're so acrobatic. Man, he's heavy. Oh, look at that. Look at that bluefish. This is the best quality bluefish I've seen consistently. What? All right, let's try to get you to the beach. Let's try to get you to the beach. There we go. Heck yeah, man. Look at this guy. He's solid. Solid bluefish. Look. I mean, he's like, I can't even wrap my hand around him. Nice. And they're so acrobatic. The other one was jumping too. Nice stinking bluefish for Alabama. Nice Alabama blue. We're going to get you back, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate you taking my lure. Oh, and he wanted it too, man. I, I was burning it back and he took off with it. Oh yeah, immediately hooked up on that cast. That looks like a blue. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I think there's still some fish out there. As soon as it hit the water, they were on it. Oh, there he is. Got him got him let's back down that drag okay i want him to be able to pull some drag so we don't lose him wanted to come out here and catch some of these big blues that have been hanging around feels decent oh nice jump nice jump Yes, that's a blue. That's a nice blue. On the top water. Woo! Good start to the morning. These are some dadgum quality bluefish. Just a nice fish. Something tried to get him. He's got a scar on him. We're gonna get him back. On the head and spook. Get you back, buddy. See ya go terrorize some more mullet here you go there you go there you go you're good you're good quit faking that's how i wanted to start the morning oh giant giant blow up Woo. <laughs> Oh, might need to tighten down the drag just a little bit. Goodness. He took it and ran. He's still running. Gah. Man, he's like thrashing on top, running all over the place. This guy's angry. Woo. Found a nice little pocket of them. Look at this guy. That was the next cast. Oh, this is a thick one, man. Another good blue. I think we've uh, taken a step up from the last one. 
Heck yes. I want to get one of these monsters. Called a couple of monsters yesterday. We'll get you back. Thanks, dude. See ya. I've been seeing some stuff happening past my casting range with my top water lure, so I've tied on a Halco Twisty to be able to reach out a little bit further. There are some Spanish over here jumping. They tend to like the smaller profile. We'll see if we can get out to them and entice them with what I got on here. I think I got to them. I don't know, man. I don't know if they're going to hit that or not. I'm coming through them, but they are not. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. That's got to be one. Oh. Is that a blue? That might be a blue. Yeah, okay. Definitely some Spanish in there, but uh, got a blue. Third blue fish of the morning. See you, buddy, on the spoon. I saw some Spanish jumping out of that school. I'm surprised to pull the blue fish out. Oh, there's, oh, got popped. There's another fish. There's another fish. Oh, he just, man, he's tugging. Okay. Let's see if we can keep him on. We got a heavy spoon. Might be a Spanish. Might be a good one. Come here, dude. Prove me wrong. Prove, prove to me you'll eat the spoon. It's a Spaniard. Spent nice Spaniard. N freaking nice Spanish. Woo! Look at the teeth on that guy. Holy cow. Beautiful Spanish mackerel. We'll get him back. Nice big fish. This school is just bouncing back and forth. Got some nice Spanish and bluefish in here. It's been real slow. Got him. Got him. All right. I'm trying to keep my drag tight for the hook set and then loosen it once I hook up. <laughs> it's a heavy spoon, so a Spanish or a bluefish can throw it pretty good. Let's see what we got, a little Spanish. He ain't too bad, he ain't too bad. There we go, nice, easy de-hook there. Get you back, buddy, see ya. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There we go. Yep, that's way out there too, man. These Spanish, where they hit, they hit it hard. Back down that drag. See if we can keep them on. They're hanging out deep, blowing up on stuff. Let's see, yep, another Spanish. Another decent one. Look at that guy. Heck yeah. Easy hook out. Awesome morning. See you, buddy. Cool fish, man. These Spanish are nice. So just getting back into the swing of things after Ida came through, dumped a bunch of fresh water in the area, turned up our surf. Things are finally getting back to normal. A water clarity looked great. Activity was a little bit better today than it was yesterday or the day before, whatever the other morning was that I got out there. But it was cool seeing the Spanish, ladyfish, bluefish, definitely just more stuff going on. I saw more bait, more mullet. Uh, I guess it just, it just rocks everything when a hurricane comes through. And I don't know where those fish go. I decided to take this setup with me these last two days because I wanted to throw the topwater spook and my heavier setups like the Bumby stick or my Star Paraflex just wouldn't work for that light of a lure and, and giving the action. So I wanted that for that reason, but I wanted to still have enough backbone and beefiness that if I did hook a jack, I would be able to handle it. This is the eight foot TFO inshore series rod, which has a ton of backbone. I mean, you can, I've caught a big jack off the jetties with this thing. You can really handle a heck of a lot. Like it's, it's a pretty beefy setup. And then I've got a 4,500 pin slammer three on there and 30 pound braid. This is the spoon that I was throwing. This is like an ounce and a half twisty from Halco. And that's what I caught a lot of stuff on today. 
what's hurting me right now is as far as fishing this area is just the amount of fresh water just the amount of rain that's in all of our water systems that's dumping into the gulf that's in, in our rivers and our bays fish can still be caught it's just tougher i'll be getting back after it and i'll be doing some more surf fishing as we progress into fall this is a really good time of year to start doing that so i'll be doing more of it but i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and it's always you stay bummy